essay entitled, Why I Like to Live in America by Dorothy Ryan. First of all, what is America? It is a land of freedom that no other country throughout this world can surpass in the great extent of freedom we now have in America. This started many years ago when our forefathers landed on Plymouth Rock. Their purpose of coming to this new country, America, was to free themselves of the heavy taxation which was placed upon them in the old country. Upon their arrival here, they had many other troubles and problems, such as cold, not enough food, and the worst enemies, the Indians. But they struggled through the winter and in spring began to plant crops to feed their families. Game was plentiful, so meat was not too great a problem until the Indians began to realize that these people were taking the food away from them. It was then time for the pilgrims to begin some peaceful way of making them friends and no longer enemies. This was done by trading food for state food and showing the Indians they too could enjoy their food. This brought about peace and freedom. In this small thought of trading and sharing, through the America we know today, a place of freedom. Freedom of speech, freedom of the press, and most important of all, freedom of religion. To use an example, let us not only take a look at the communist nation, but our friendly nation, England. In this country, if you desire to open a grocery store, you must first apply for the license, then possibly wait six months until you would know you could open such a store. Secondly, the government tells you what you can stop and sell and how much. Thirdly, what hours of business you must need, and this might only be the hours from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. There are many other items that can be mentioned, but they would only lead up to the same thing. Unless you know someone in the government, it is almost impossible to be a businessman in England. This brings about the thought of freedom of speech. When an individual resists the rigid law, they are turned aside and have no one to go to as we do here in America. To open a place of business in America, all you need is the location, the capital, walk in and start a business. This, to me, makes America the land of the free. And thanks be to God, the God-minded man, which has made the laws of our land, which have kept us free. Another thought is freedom of speech. In Russia, we know this is out the question, even in peace time. These poor people have to be very careful of what they say in their own homes, but it might be their own child that will turn them in that they spoke against the government. Not only Russians, but Red Chinese and Austrians do not have freedom of speech. These people have to be very careful what they say too. All the communist nations are this way. That's why we as Americans should be supporting freedom of speech. Now, most important of all is freedom of religion. Religion is very important to most people because without religion, people wouldn't care what they did or were going to do. Religion helps a person to trust God for things they need and want. All people in this world today feel their religion is right and wouldn't change it to another one if they were working all the money in the world. This is why we have so many different religions. Because not one person on earth is like it's another. Everyone has a different way of thinking about faith and religion. Some religions don't feel there is a thing at all with movies, medicine, and different other things. Then there are some that wouldn't think of using such things. These religions grow by people who have children raised them in this group. From the time that a baby is born, the parent of the child will take this child to the church of the choice. As the child is older, he or she likes to go to church if the parent comes himself. These parents have had the freedom to worship as they please and can take their child to the church of the choice. As the child is older, he or she likes to worship this way because they haven't had the freedom to do so and because their parents put them up this way. When these children grow up and have their own children, they will no doubt raise them the same religion that they were raised in. Sometimes when the parent brings their child into the world, it doesn't like the religion that the parent is. So we can change it to another religion. Sometimes, another way people sometimes change religion is when they marry a person of a different faith. They change to the husband or the wife. The poor people of the Catholic country do not have freedom of religion. These poor people do not have a choice of anything in religion. That's why we people of faith tabernacle should be so thankful for the religion.
tradition we have. Because here in America, we have the freedom to worship as we please. So I say to every one of you sitting here tonight, you should thank God for this wonderful and beautiful land that is called America. God made men and women who are people and gave them 